What I say about trauma is trauma hijacks your brain, but your body remembers it. Trauma and addiction. It's something counselor Rich Goddard sees going hand in hand. Because when you talk about trauma and you talk about addiction in some of your initial interviews or your assessments, you'll see what drives the addiction is the trauma. I would say every one of our clients has trauma. I believe that if we treat the trauma, the self-medication decreases or sometimes stops. Through his trauma counseling, Wirt sees withdrawal and trauma symptoms presenting the same. Research showing people who have experienced trauma may use drugs to try to block out those symptoms. So what we see is we'll see clients who have pushed down their trauma with substances maybe since the age of 13. And what we know now is that whatever substance you use, there may be significant mental health disorders that co-occur. And I'm not talking about substance abuse. I'm talking about depression. I'm talking about bipolar disorder. I'm talking about different types of personality disorders. So when you look at trauma and substance abuse, the other thing that we know is if you use substances, you're much more likely to have trauma because of the situations that you live in. So you end up in this vicious cycle and the whole time you're medicating the trauma, continue to medicating the trauma, but more traumas come. People who have used drugs are more likely to have traumatic experiences. Research showing 50 to 85% of people who use substances have symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. I think that number is underrated because when I've looked at the research recently, what we haven't taken into account is the opioid epidemic. We are having generations of use of substances. So I'm hearing clients tell me, well, at 12 years old, my mom shot up, my dad shot up, my dad was in prison. That's traumatic. So to treat trauma, we're seizing clients at addiction recovery care. He uses a method that talks to the brain a treatment called accelerated resolution therapy. So you could, you could have a trauma and you could tell me I want to deal with the trauma. You don't have to tell me anything about it and we can process the therapy. We basically talk to your brain and we allow your brain to do what it was unable to do previously. We do that with eye movement. So if you're in session with me, I would have you follow my hand and you would follow my hand because it's not talk therapy we're relaxing their brain enough. We're kind of putting them like in a REM state, but they're not hypnotized. We allow, we encourage the trauma to come up and our clients see it kind of like a movie. And then we actually talk to the brain and we allow them, give them opportunity to process out, process out sensations and emotions. What we allow to happen then, we can re-script that memory. We can remove the images and we re-script the memory. So the clients will know that something happened to them, but they can't see it anymore. The therapy only takes a few sessions. And even after one session, Rich sees some of his clients' nightmares have stopped. I've also had people cry from relief um, when the trauma is resolved. But this type of therapy is not something Rich can start with clients when they first enter treatment at addiction recovery care. But what I found is they can't manage trauma in the first 30 days of treatment. Many of them are just learning how to make a bed, you know, how to care for themselves the first time in years. But beginning to treat trauma is something addiction recovery care starts immediately by making clients feel safe, teaching them to cope, and providing hope. Long-term treatment definitely will help. When people leave treatment before 30 days, their trauma has not been treated. And then they're going to go out. If they use, they will have more trauma. There's not a doubt in my mind, both from the stats and what I see. I usually will see clients after about 60 days. Rich started accelerated resolution therapy three years ago. In one year, he treated 108 clients. Out of those, he diagnosed 94 with trauma. Though clients may be skeptical at first, he sees changes in them, learning to trust and rebuilding healthy connections. We do know that trauma gets better, that there's hope for clients that get their trauma treated.